Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. I was called Negro in the Philippines, the other N-word. And before I get started, I want to warn you that there's going to be some derogatory terms used in this video. Not a lot. Y'all know me. I try to keep it tame. But I received an email yesterday from a gentleman. He says, Calvin, you know, I want, I'm thinking about uh, apologizing to my ex. Uh, our Filipinas... Are they forgiving? You know, he said it happened 20 years ago. And I was like, well, if I were you, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't open up a can of worms just because you're feeling guilty. He said, no, I need to tell you the story. So he tells me the story. He's engaged to a Filipina. They're about to get married. She was a virgin. He was the first. And she wanted to see him again real bad. So he booked the flight, planned the trip. And at the last moment, he got sick and had to counsel. Well, she got so angry with him that she sent him an email and called him a black nigger and a black nigger bastard. And he said, Calvin, you never talk about stuff like that. He said, when Filipinos get angry, they use those kind of words. You know, and it hit me, man. It opened up a lot of bad memories for me. But let me say this. I've never been mistreated here. Filipinos in my heart of hearts are not racist. Certainly not what I'm used to. I've been uh, welcomed here, you know, on the contrary, treated as well as I've ever been treated. Okay, but when he said that, you know, I couldn't deny it because, as everybody knows, I've got a son over here. And he lives in America now, but his mother got mad at me one time. And she called me a black nigger. And, I mean, it cut through me, ladies and gentlemen. I've never gotten over it. You know, I, I was 46 at the time. I hadn't, no one had ever called me, I can't remember ever being called that, you know, in a derogatory way. But let me back up just a little bit. You know, when I was with this same woman in 2010, I'm in Cebu, and a lady calls me a negro. And, oh, man, it just, it floored me. All the color left my face. I mean, I couldn't breathe. I was, it took me off guard. It caught me off guard. And my girlfriend at the time said, oh, don't worry about it. You know, she doesn't mean anything bad. That's just what we call black people over here. You know, she says the Spanish word for black is Negro. And, you know, you have to understand that those words are over here, guys. The Spanish brought them here. And then, of course, Americans brought them here during the Filipino-American War. They actually called Filipinos niggers. And you can look it up. It's all on Google. It's newspaper clippings and everything. Well, anyway, I want to try to use this video as a educational moment. For my Filipino view viewers, you know, I want to say there's no nice word to say Negro or nigger. Because sometimes you'll, you'll be called a nigger. I was called nigger twice here in San Carlos City. But I think it's, it's out of innocence and ignorance. They don't really know how powerful those words are to a black man. And to black men coming over here and black people coming over here, I want to tell you that you don't have to worry about being facing the racism that a lot of us escape from in our Western countries. It's nothing like that. You know, Filipinos, they aren't racist, really. I mean, they're never going to mistreat you. But I just want to put you on alert that those type of words are over here, and they will be used and will catch you off guard. Now, there's no nice word, way to say Negro or nigger. Just like there's no nice word to say honky or chink or spick and all those other derogatory words that people use. But yeah, you're going to be over here and someone's going to call you a Negro. Or someone's going to say, oh yeah, she's with that Negro. Or, or like when I was up in the 
province meeting my son, you know, an old lady, she was probably in herself, and she said, oh, that's that Negro's father. I was at the father of the Negro. And, you know, they really don't mean anything by it. But it, it doesn't make it feel any better. Okay. About two weeks ago, right before my walk, I was walking here in San Carlos because, guys, trust me, I'm not bothered here. People, people don't bother me here. I feel safe here than I've ever been. But I'm walking down a street called Maxese Street, John's Old Street. And right next to John's apartment, there's a little sorry, sorry store. And I'm just walking by and I looked over and the lady says, hey, nigga, you know, and I mean, it just, it just messed my whole day up. I kept going because I really knew in my heart of hearts that the lady didn't mean harm. But, you know, that's a hard word to swallow, guys. You know, it's just something I'm not used to. It's the 21st century. You don't use those kind of words under no circumstances. There's no excuse at all for it. But it is what it is. I'm over here in the Philippines and I'm not justifying it. I'm just saying that out of ignorance and a lot of times innocence you'll hear those kind of words they're going to catch you off guard i would keep going just like i did but i want to warn my filipino viewers you know words like that you never want to use especially if you go abroad those words can get you killed it can get you hurt just like those other words Okay, there's no nice way to say that type of stuff. Okay, if you're going to say that, say black, or say American, or French, or English, Australian, whatever the person may be. But Negro in the 21st century, in 2023, is unacceptable. Certainly nigger. And I'm telling my brothers and sisters that come over here to visit this beautiful country that when you hear those type of words, they're going to cut deep, but they don't have the derogatory or meaning that we're accustomed to. So I wanted to address that today because I had to be honest. I had the same thing, <coughs> excuse me, happen to me. When my ex got mad at me, she called me a black nigga. And I've never gotten over it. I've never forgotten it. Just like I haven't forgotten when that lady called me that. You don't forget that. Okay? But I brush it off because I'm not going to judge a society on two incidents, two bad incidents, where there's literally been millions of good incidents. So to my subscriber that wrote me the letter, the message, I mean, in, in my Sunshine Show's Facebook Messenger, you know, I addressed it. But this only going to be the only time I ever address this because really it's, um, it's, it's really nothing for real. It's not something that you have to be worried about as a black person over here. You're not going to be attacked or anything like that. But those words are here. They were brought here by the Spanish and later, of course, by the Americans. And they still call me Negro to this day, and it's still cringy. It still hurts. I still feel bad about it. But I know that they really don't mean any harm. So thank y'all so much for stopping by. You know, I had to do it. You know, he backed me in a the corner. There was no way I could say, oh, it's never, it's not my experience. It is my experience. It happened just like it happened to him. Is it going to happen to you? Probably not. You know, I don't know. I know you're going to be called a Negro. I know that for a fact. Because that's their name for black people over here. Okay. Now, how you handle that, I'm telling you, you know, to, to keep going. It's going to cut you in half. You, you, you're not used to being 
called that. But it's mostly out of innocence and ignorance, really. They don't know any better in the 21st century. But those words are here. Filipinos know how powerful those words are. And if you make them angry enough, they will pull them out against you. So if you're in America, it's getting late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. But if you don't want them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, you're just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break and see somebody out in the street, or wherever you see them, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. If it doesn't, put your life in jeopardy. If you're in the Philippines, it's a beautiful Monday morning. I'm going to do my walk. I wanted to upload this video. You have nothing to worry about, guys. But I did want to talk about it. Okay. Uh, those words I hear, they're, they're still hurtful to me. I was in a tricycle the other day with Merlin, and the, he said, the Negro in Merlin says, no, he's a black American. And then I stopped, um, uh, I stopped Merlin. I said, no, I'm just a, a man. I'm a human being. You know, stop with all them labels. But if you're in the Philippines, you got all the rest of the day to help somebody. I'm going to help somebody today. I don't know who, I don't know where. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble and I'll see you next time.